yes it's not Saturday oh morning right here we've got Geron Geron's awake Dave inside the pyramid I Davi Anna uh, and Dave Ace of Strike morning to you yeah it's a bit of a later one for me this and I thought it's you know good Friday over here in the UK I suppose it is elsewhere as well <clears throat> and uh, I'm not working so I thought I'd just um, go live while I'm in the studio so uh, morning to you um, patch from scratch really uh, I, I, so last weekend I did that um, thing and how you had that patch going use my mixer and stuff and on sunday i just thought I, I need to do something with that uh release something and then and then de-patch and start again so um so that's what i've done that's what you can see here now really um so the only thing that's making the noise besides the guitar was um was the mini brute morning martin Morning, Steve. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, I'm pleased you turned up, obviously, but I wasn't too sure. I mean, it's everyone would be busy today, I would have thought, but uh, um, yeah, just thought I'd go live and see see how many people drop in for a listen <laughs> and a chat. Um, now then, I'm I'm going for I'm going for E flat today. E flat, probably E flat minor pentatonic. That's all the black notes. <coughs> I do everything in C. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought I would um, start off with a, uh, an E flat now. So that's what um, the mini brute's doing. Uh, morning, morning, Thurston. <laughs> yeah. E flat, and the, the problem with E flat is, well, my guitar is tuned to C. <laughs> I've put a cap on it, but it doesn't help really. You know, it's uh, I've still got to learn the scale again. So it's a it's an open C tuning normally, and I've got the capo on the uh, D sharp or E flat fret. So it's like um, learning the scales all over again. I mean, I can I can hit a note. And then I know pretty much what's going to come next for the scale. So whether it's, uh, I can go a bit flat. But because I'm pretty crap at guitar, <laughs> I can't just hit the fretboard with the cap on and go, I'm in that scale now, so this is this could be painful in places. Um, morning Pat. So, yeah, I started off with the guitar, but to be honest with you, I now need to um, do some patching and embellish this bass thing going on at the minute. <coughs> And I, I'm not sure where my mixer will fit in on this. I probably will have a sequence going later on, but initially I just want to sort of set some drones going. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's see if I can get like a mild, not so heavy elements drone going as well. Let me just add another trap to Reaper. Excuse me. <laughs> and uh, right, me that. Excuse me. Elements. Set it to good. Now, I will need to tune this. I'm not going to be sending this. Uh, I won't send a pitch CV to this. I'm just going to tune it to, uh, um, well, a C flat. I mean, I might go for, say, uh, B 
either a G sharp or an A sharp perhaps let's open up the tuner um, <clears throat> obviously I need to send a voltage into the uh, gate So that I'd be tuned to see as it was last time. Let me uh, turn these down a bit. Let's put blow up to about our bow, sorry, bow up to about 50%, increase the change the contour. Just use a, I just use a tuner in my door. Obviously, if you if you're totally doorless, then yeah, you need a tuner. Uh, I've never used the Disting tuner. I must admit, there's a lot of stuff in the Disting I haven't used. Um, so let's turn that brightness down a bit. So I just wonder if we can just bring that up ever slightly, so it's not. Get that resonator going. So I'm just tickling the resonator there. Still a bit too loud that, so I'm just going to turn that down a little bit. Just in the door. Morning, Lemon. Right. So, um, and I suppose we could just take the base up a little bit. <coughs> I want to do um, a talking head video at some point in the near future, talking about drones and why I do drones and why I like drones and. I just, I just love drones, I always have done. <laughs> Ever since I was a small child with bagpipe music. Uh, well, now then, David. I call you David because there's another Dave. So ASF Stripe, you're David. Um, if you get the Distinct EX, it's got a quad quantizer in it now, I believe. But I've not, I've not updated the algorithm yet to try that out. But yeah, it's got a quad quantizer in it now, I believe. Um, the Ornaments and Crime also has a quad quantizer, but my Ornaments and Crime is permanently in LFO mode. Um, which, you know, I'm going to evaluate that at some point. Now that I've cottoned on to the dope for slimline quad LFOs, so you get, you get four triangle waves and or four square waves um, in just in uh, 4 HP so I've got one two I've got two of those now I'm gonna get probably two more because you just can't have enough to you just can't have enough LFOs can you uh, I might get an ox I keep saying to keep promising myself to get an ox one day as well perhaps um, and expert sleepers are nice as a nice LFO as well um, like four I think it's four or five LFOs in probably 8 HP. Uh, otherwise, my my LFOs I've got to fatigue me obviously, um, which is uh, four LFOs, 
I did have my PAMs set to a lot of LFOs as well, but um, since the, since the start of this year, I've, I've turned PAMs over purely to triggers, um, triggers and gates. Um, so what have we got in LFOs now? So I've got I've got four LFOs in the Batumi. So that's four. I've got four here. So that's eight. I've got two single LFOs here. Um, so that's ten. And then I've got my uh, eight. So I've got eighteen LFO, which is not enough. <laughs> Morning, Radion. Uh, thanks for tuning in, mate. Um, yeah, I need to check out because I mean, uh, I, I, I love drones, but I'm not a connoisseur of drones, so I can't talk for hours about on um, this drone artist or that drone artist. Um, I'm just very much my own. You know what I've learnt myself um, to produce. You know what I like, and uh, <clears throat> and obviously there's a couple of other people that I know that do drones. Um, but I also like my, my sequences as well. So like the last that last upload to YouTube was um, was primarily a drone, but with a lot of sequences stuff running through it as well. One in my case. Um, yeah, so I'll make a note of that. Thanks, Freddie, and I'll have a look at that. Um, Thomas Kona, I suppose he's called. So, <laughs> um, so, so we've got a bit of elements in there. Um, is anyone listening on speakers by any chance? Could well be rattling your your window frames. Morning, Milo. <laughs> yeah, good to see you, mate. Good to see you. Um, and the the let's let's have a, let's, let's, let's see what the Batombra does for this. Not a lot to be honest, but I might bring a bit of. Uh, let's turn that down to. There. I'm just going to add a bit of blowing. So bring a bit of white noise in, a bit of higher frequency stuff, possibly, come on, there you go, you can hear that, yeah so like I said I mean I'm, I'm by no means an authority on drones, I'm not even an expert drone maker, I just um since getting since getting this outfit here this setup here uh i've enjoyed making just drones out of the oscillators that i've got and using the filters to add a bit of texture to them um so let's have a look at this i mean i've got blow pretty much full up there but the trouble with this now if i just if i turn that voltage off and then re excite the exciter. Oh no, that's okay. That uh, I'm just looking at span there. If I turn round, I'm looking at span on my sheet on my computer screen over there. Um, morning, Grace. I have pulled all the cables again. Yes, <laughs> morning, Rippy. <laughs> It's not Saturday, it's Friday. Morning, Mike. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a late stream. I just thought, you know, we, we, we've got the... Um, we're hoping that our boys are going to come round for some dinner today. Um, but that'll be another hour or two's time, so... Um, um, yeah. So it's, it's Friday. Every day is a Saturday. <laughs> Morning, Will. <laughs> um, so let's let's try a little bit of um, I don't know, a bit of LFO.
probably put a slow one on the timbre. Uh, let's use that one there, just have a look. And just turn the attenuator down a little bit. I'm just so what I always do, I say always, <laughs> nearly always do, if I can't quite hear what an LFO is doing on something, I just turn up the speed so I can hear what the effect it's having on. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to put another LFO on the flow. Probably bring that down a little bit. So let's just slow them speeds down. Right. Let's tweak them down a little bit. So there's a little bit of texture going on with the uh, the elements drone. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you all, Johnny. Morning to you. Oh, Robbie. <laughs> Did see you sneak in there, Robbie. Thank you. Well, I mean, <laughs> you've tuned in again. <laughs> I've not patched anything up, so I'm doing the old, um, the old 1950s call centre thing. Uh, so morning to you, Robbie. Um. Who else have I missed? Wonky Robot. Oh, hello, hello, hello Wonky. I've <laughs> missed you. Just can't keep up with this shit all of a sudden. <laughs> right. Could probably just add a little bit to the brightness as well. Not too much, not too much. So already I'm running out of LFO. I need one of these just for just for elements. So brightness. Let's turn that down a little bit on the attenuator. Don't want it going too bright. Now the other thing, Robbie is you've tuned on on drone day. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll, I'll play the guitar a little bit, but um, as I was explaining earlier, uh, I'm, I'm going for a rather unusual E-flat minor today, or E-flat minor pentatonic, which is all the black notes. So I am now suddenly unfamiliar with my fretboard. <laughs> So I've just got to find, find the notes and then go from there. too far <laughs> yeah so a bit of learning there to do um, 
which is you know I, I don't pick up the guitar anywhere near enough really to be honest with you and when I do pick it up it's always in C or A minor dare I say <laughs> uh, right then what next um, I mean obviously I've got my reverb going on um, um, in Reaper that's the lexicon reverb mpx 500 it's a multi-effects thing but uh, i only use it for reverb um so i could do with that in some more drony stuff and what i might do actually later on of um M mavis and um the west best are turned on so in fact, I might just shove um, West Pest on a new track. So I'll put you in number six slot, matey. Um. <coughs> oh, I need a long cable. So my long cables are over here. I don't have a place for them to live yet. get a nice long cable um, so I'm going to put you in over there oh wait a minute yeah I see. oh no I can, I can still go from the fold out so I'll put the fold out there you know. hey Grace he's still here how's, how's, how's Andy getting on with his West Pest I've not heard much from that uh, since he said he got it early the, in the year. Um, so I need to put this on to hold and we'll play an E flat. Ah. Um, I've got volume, but. Uh, Probably needs tuning actually. Uh, let's put it up on that tape and I'll just tune that in to E for a starter. Oh, is it your West Best 2? Right, nice one, nice one. That's not, it's, it's a lovely little thing. It's a mind, I said, you know, mine's, mine's broke. So. Um, well actually I could probably go, let's try this on a, uh, and there's no reverb on that, let's get some nice reverb in. Right, so I'm going to read that. Oh right, okay, oh, that's, that's lovely that, yeah. Jamie, nice one. Morning, Kev. <laughs> uh, make some lovely sounds. Uh, Grace, I really, I like it. Um, let's just get a bit of a little fold, fold mod on there. So that'll just bring that um, G sharp in or A flat, we want to call it. Um, hmm. So that's, I mean, for a drone, that's, that's stacking out up quite quite nicely. Oh, nice one, nice one, Grace. Yeah. But as always, you know, the more stuff you get, the more, the more time you've got to spend learning it all. So, uh, yeah. Um, I tell you what, I do want to do as well, actually. Uh, yeah. What I wanted to do today was 
Let's, I'm just going to load up the algorithm for the granulator on here. In fact, we'll see what that. Oh, in fact, oh, wait a minute, I've got a preset for this, haven't I? Preset. Load preset granulator. Hmm, hmm, now then, what do I do? So what I might do with this now is, uh, <laughs> as you may have guessed, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. The beauty of modular. Um, I mean, I could just put a drone into the granulator, but I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put a sequence into the granulator, so that might be a, a way of bringing Mavis in. If I set up a sequence, and then, um, oh, mind you, thinking about it, what I might have to do is just split the audio with one of these things because. thinking um, first things first let's just get a sequence going then I'll, I'll think about bringing the granulator in um, then if I'm bringing the granulator in I will probably set this one up uh, to two single mode sorry two dual mode algorithms I'll have one which is uh, the C3 which is the ping pong uh yeah i don't know well i need to set this up at some point don't i let's just set that running i'm just looking at my pams here probably make it around about let's have a look it's on 68 bpm at the minute let's double that to 72 for no reason um because i'm going to clock the delay so this is going to take a little bit of faffing now uh, I'm going to use um, pressure points to um, send the pitch CV. So let me take one of these clocks. I don't know. Let's try that one. What have I found? Make sure I'm not missing anybody. Lots of. Oh, half god, morning biscuit. <laughs> um, I've, I've suddenly seen me my name in lights all of a sudden. That's all that. That's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good combination, that I reckon. Although I really don't much not know much about the the XPO and the Q Pass. Because I think they're a bit west coasty as well, aren't they? I'd have to look up on that. Um, so, yeah. So I'm just, just half god. Come in there, Mr. Bis Biscuit. Um, yes. Now then. Uh, but if I'm using that gate for the. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll just set up a basic. Probably not that one actually, let me just use a slightly shorter one perhaps, or even a much shorter one, I don't know. Yeah, let's use that one there, a little one. So I'll take the clock out from the core, because I need to split my clocks at the minute, because I'm going to spend one clock into, uh, into brains to run the pressure points. Then I'm going to send another clock to the Mavis gate in. Uh, so where are we, gates? And um, so now, did I turn this on? It should be on, shouldn't it? Oh, it's my all go per shape now. Got away with it there. Long story. 
Um, Uh, yes, get some uh, sound out of this. Um, uh, let's get another. Uh, mind you, you know one of these do that's long enough. Kinda. No, let's get a nice long one. Excuse me. Take the uh, out, and I'll put it into the first box of the mixer just for now. Um, I'm going to take I'll put another malt into clock one. Clock one and four are the same at the minute, but. What I might do is put a probability on clock four. So I'm just going to put clock one into the ping pong. Oh, now then. Which, which is which now? I think it's two. Yeah, I think it's two. So basically, what I'm doing there, I'm clocking the ping pong, and it, it's a ping pong delay, and it just saves me having to um, uh, dial in a, a time. <clears throat> But what I need to do is add two, oh, another one track. A stereo track. Uh, That's a lock, stereo. And we'll use this, we'll make it mod one and two. Yeah. Turn that right up, I think. Oh, I think I can anyway. Let's have a look. Those levels are down anyway at the moment. Um, so let's get this sound out of here now. Um, I suppose I could just try. Oh, uh, I mean, I do need a pitch um, thing with a long cable. Octave, pitch out from the pressure points. Yeah, so in fact, I actually just remembered. Yeah, so what I've, I've I've complained about the Mavis before being a really hard thing to tune in. So what I've started doing is putting a little attenuator, little DIY attenuator in the line. Or in the patch cable, so between the uh, voltage out from pressure points to uh, the Bop Rot Save on Mavis, and that allows me to tone back the uh, the range, if you like, so that when I'm tuning when I'm turning these knobs, it doesn't go so wild. Um, wildly out of tune, it's easier to tune basically. So now then, let's have a look at that then, let's bring that up. Uh, that is on isn't it? I have to see the lights on. Oh, <laughs> what a wally. Um, yeah, I just need, uh, yeah, just the left, and that needs to go into number three. Oh yeah, of course, I've not put those in, have I, either? That would help. So it's my uh, ping pong out, so they go into that one. into that one um, just around there a bit uh, let's 
turn the rocks up. The rocks send out of there. So I'm nearly done with this. You're a bit too short, you are. Let's put a longer one in. I've, I need to find a new home for them longer cables, really, which is more accessible. I have to reach over here all the time. Um, so, up, send into one there. Whoa, okay. Now, yeah, I need to. Now, why is that? sound right to me that oh now then uh. morning Nigel oh <laughs> morning Raftus <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Oh, Sir Luke! <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Anybody else I've missed? Just light my name up, will you, so I can see you there. Uh, oh, sorry, Wabbit, you're here as well. Sorry about that. Uh, wow. Well. <laughs> now, I suppose the annoying thing is I'm still planning to do a live stream for tomorrow. So, you know, now then, so that's not in tune at the minute, it's just a sequence that's playing away. Now, what I should be able to do is um, tune each one of these in. Now, um, let's take the clock out of there. And uh, and I'll put it into. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, brains is not brains. Um, pressure points is just so annoying. I think what I might do temporarily. The good thing about this chance delay is I can send the trigger from the chance delay and stick it into uh... <laughs> oh, it's been another long cable. That's it. I have to move all the cables to there. Oh, I know what I've not done as well. I've not. Um... Is that thing in focus? Let me just, just while I've thought on, as part of my pre-stream. Things I'm supposed to. Um, so I'm supposed to. The well, the, basically the webcam that I use, which is a top-down on the West Pest and the Mate and Mavis. Uh, it also focuses, and I can't do anything about it. You've got. To, I've got. To, I've got to go in each time and turn off auto focus, and then refocus it, which is right annoying. So that should be okay then. Okay, so we're okay there now. Um, long cable. So I can tune this maybe soon. So all this is doing now, it's nothing. It's, all it's doing is, is I'm, I'm putting the trigger out from chance delay into the brain's clocking, so I can manually select the next flipping potentiometer to tune in. How annoying is that? There you go. Um, let's put a tuner.
put the other camera on for a bit? Obviously no lights today, I've just gone for the uh, daylight things <laughs> just for a change um, I might just put the wobbly camera on um, What we're doing, tuning So what I'm going to go for is I'm just going to go for, for a very simple sequence um, So I'll start with the root So this wants to be flat Let's just check the range. Right. Next. Uh, so this one's got to be F sharp or G flat. Turn down that uh, BCF mod amount. Just that, just that's just so the tuner's got something to pick up on. The tuner was going mad. Right, so if I put the clock back, you can go on the floor for a bit. sequence um, just going to read Milo's question there hold on a sec um, what am I missing here There's so much chat you talk so much you guys <laughs> thankfully you've got to keep yourself busy somewhere aren't you listen to this stuff it's his it is Friday Nigel yes it is Friday um, and you do have me again tomorrow morning, unless something happens in the night. You know, you just don't know, dear. Do I'm 63, you know. Um, so, Milo, uh, are you willing to expand the URAP with those modules on the table? Save up space in the desk, uh, or the URAP can be expand expanded anymore, maybe horizontally. Well, good question. So, um, I've decided quite early on, so when I got the West Pest, I thought, oh, I can put that in my Yora all right, set up. And then I thought, well, actually, I can't think of what modules to take out to make room for the West Pest. So I thought, I'm going to keep the West Pest as a little semi modular desktop computer. Uh, computer. Uh, sound module uh, voice so when I bought the uh, the uh, Mavis I had that same thought in mind in that I would 
Um, never, even though I can stick it in the Euro rack, I thought I'm never gonna, I'm never gonna bother doing that. Now the problem with the, um, the problem with growing horizontally is, um, I would need new cases, and uh, I'm wanting Kent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing tomorrow as well, I'm afraid, Kent. But you know, this is just one of um, one of those impromptu things that I thought this morning. You know, I might just go ahead and do some droney stuff. But it is only drone stuff, so um, yeah. But a bit of sequence, and I might put a bit of guitar in as well. So um, now then. I'm just wondering why the uh let's try in fact I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the plot can I for number four let's see what this does oops wrong one wrong one sorry Yeah, I'm having a brain fart here, so what I should have been doing really. So instead of clocking that with the with the main clock, I'm gonna clock it with something else. I'm trying to get the ping pong to So let's change channel three. So I've got a definite stereo thing going on there. Morning Hayes. <laughs> oh, what's up, Hayes? What are you doing? Oh my goodness, this sounds ominous. Uh, right. That still sounds quite strong over on the left-hand side. There's something else I can do. So Z's the feedback on this one. Now at this point, this is where I wish I had a send, an extra send, two sends from the mixer, but it is what it is. But what I can do, I believe, and I've not, I've not, really, I've not tried this before, so I'm going to split the output. Okay, just got a message. We're organising the meal this afternoon. <laughs> um, yeah. I need to uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do actually while I'm at it. I need to mute my desktop audio. Make sure it's muted. Background music. Yeah. I don't want you to keep hearing me flipping uh, pings every time I get a message. <laughs> right, okay. Um, so it's going to keep me. You need a job. Yeah, 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 I get that, yeah. Um, I'm sure you'll survive it. So I might have to close down to one peel of potatoes. <laughs> what time is it now? So yeah, okay. 
Um, yeah, juggling, juggling family stuff at the same time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to split the audio from... Um, so we should be on the granulator here. Uh, but you know what? So I need, actually... I think I need... Two... So this out right here. I'll have to use up these other two channels here, I guess. I think we're on mono input, let's just check that on these many, many. This could be a complete fail. So we'll see how it goes. But I should be in mono mode, just making sure that's the case. I need to spend more. I, I need to spend more time with this granulator, really. Uh, so yeah, it's mono input. So I think I think it's input one. So what I need to do first is take it out of there. Oh, wrong one. It's that one. And you into there. Jump up. I've had modular for how long and I didn't, didn't, didn't realise you could do this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just splitting the audio to two places. Now, let's turn this up. I'm going to need another track. So, oh, morning, James. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, not sure how much longer this is going to last to be honest but we'll see how it goes uh so are we on four and five sound whatsoever. That's interesting. Like I said, this could be a fail. Um, let's make sure I've got this going the right place. see it on the granulator that uh, the screen that I've got now which obviously you can't see there's definitely some grain stuff going on but nothing is coming out of the outputs um, the 
manual first, eh? So I mean, I can tell. I'm I'm looking on on Reaper, and I can't see anything coming out of there, obviously. Um, but um, a bit too loud. Feedback. I actually thought I'd, had a, I'd set a preset up to uh, work with this straight off. Drone enable, drone two, yes, yeah, so all the drones are set up. How annoying. Um, you know, another minor gripe with the uh, about maybe is that the LFO isn't near enough. It's not slow enough for me. It's just too too fast. So I'm going to put another LFO into the Mavis LFO input and get that changing slowly. So why isn't that working? I put it in the right one. Maybe it doesn't work that way. Uh, yeah, okay, that is what it is. More research needed on that as well. <laughs> Morning, Nano. <laughs> yeah, it's um. But I, put, I just put something into the LFO input. Oh, unless that's the LFO. Oh, that, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's LFO out. What a worry. Um, where is the. Oh, it's just the cutoff I want to change, isn't it? So I could just put the LFO to the cutoff. Oh. Patching up wrong. Um, so let's go. There we go. So I can slow that right down. Probably attenuate it a little bit. in your face. Is it better? There you go. So yeah, granulator. Granulator. Just gonna very very quickly. Morning, Fred. <laughs> Kilarion, morning to you. Yeah. Um, Joe Johnson. Oh, hello, Joe Johnston. Oh, there's more. Kahuna. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Kahuna Matata. Who else have I missed? Flipping out. I think I'm caught up there. Um, right. Yeah, so that, that flipping granulator. It's gonna 
you just look at a blank uh, modular seat for a minute while I just hit the manual RTFM All oh, right. Oh, what a wally! Left input. <laughs> Just in the wrong. I've stuck it in the wrong goal. Who were? <laughs> Should be in five. So, hopefully. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So you should be able to hear that now. And in fact, I, if I turn down the sequencer level, so you can hear that. It's not great, is it? It's not great. Let's get some. Uh, reverb on it. Some, oh, well, there you go. Turn them down a little bit, actually. There you go. Let's turn that black up. So there you go. Yeah, probably a little bit too loud. That. Uh, Granulator now. Oh, mind you. I mean, Span says things are okay. I guess. I mean, what I should what I should learn now is is um, what inputs can I use to change the effect over time. Excuse me while I twiddle my knobs. Yeah, that'll do. A little bit too loud now, perhaps. Yes, Robbie, spaghetti. <laughs> Not nowhere near enough spaghetti. Uh, big noise, big wall of sound, but hardly any, hardly spaghetti going on. Um, should do a bit of guitar, just in case I'm called away. What time's it now? Probably be all right actually till about two o'clock. Cheers, Wonky. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, morning, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff Hendricks. Morning to you. Thanks for tuning in. Hell, 40 people tuned in.
supposed to assume the guitar as well, but... The PRS is so good at staying in tune that I just, I get a bit too blase about it and uh, forget. Oh, Jim Blue, morning Jim. <laughs> oh, and Graham, <laughs> morning. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Good to see it all. So a bit of noodling. It's called Auto Tune, isn't it? Can you use Melodyne live? I'm not sure. So it's quite a wall of sound, then, isn't it, really? This is the problem with, well, one of the problem with drones is, is that you can just, it's just too constant. Um, I mean, I do have the, uh, <clears throat> a morning Wookiee, a bonus drone. Get one tomorrow as well, yeah. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. I'm not going anywhere this weekend, so studio time. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I've got this sort of like, it's just too, it's too loud, basically. But too, no, not too loud, it's just too constant. But, so what have I got going? Let's um, let's take some of these out of the equation. Let's go back to basics. Um, <laughs> so we started off with the mini brute, basically. So that's that's providing my bass drone. They sort of anchor to the whole scale um, <clears throat> and then I brought in elements and I just think maybe elements is just a bit too loud again let's just take that down a bit yeah so maybe elements is too loud but I do have, I've, you know, I've got LFO going to various parameters on um, elements, so it's not like a constant sound, there's a bit of timbre change. Just wonder whether that's I can just apply a little bit of... Uh, for me so maybe that's just if I just dial that back a bit back a bit on the volume uh, 
um, I don't know what camera is going because I've got it on mobile camera at the minute so it's good. the camera could be either that side or that side um, so yeah so that's um, that's the min that's the mini brute and, and elements together so what else did I bring in Morning, Dilly. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, mate. Uh, those out, those work. They're just not turned on. Just modular today. Modular plus Mini Brute plus West Best and Mavis, and a bit of guitar. Um, yeah. So maybe just take that one down as well a little bit. So that's funny, though, isn't it? Because it's um, let's bring in uh, wait a minute. What am I doing here now? So that's the West Pest. Oh, so it's that one there, is it? It's modular three, input three. Where's input three? I don't have a three. I thought you had a three. I don't have a three. <laughs> Let's add a three. That's probably why it sounds a bit lopsided. Um, modular. a bit of difference um, so I need the ping pong delay which is that one ah right okay so maybe that was just a little bit too maybe shorten the uh, decay And the last thing we had on was the uh, granular. So yeah, maybe that's a bit too loud as well. Let's turn you down. And then at some point, maybe before tomorrow, I need to suss out how to stick some LFO on the granulator to, to change the effects over time rather than just being a constant spread of stuff so what so for those that have only just come in um the granulator is being fed the sequence um at the moment so that's what's uh, that's what's driving the granulator um In that sequence, I'm going to just turn the cut off down so that it almost disappears. But then the LFO, this LFO, and just brings it back slightly every so often. Yeah, no, no. The A115 is in the mixer case because it's a blanking plate. <laughs> I, I need to. So the, the the plan I've got basically um, 
I've got 12 HP here spare and the audio divider wasn't being used so I thought for now I'll just put the audio divider in just to blank up that space a little bit. I've still got a full HP gap here. So the plan for the future is to put some kind of some kind of an effects module in here so that I can free up at the moment I'm using a disting for the ping pong delay. So um yeah, I need to free that up again so I can use it for other stuff and, and get a dedicated effects module that would go in the case, in this little case. So I've got 12 HP for that. So it could be it could be like um like an 8 HP effect with a probably a, a an effects aid. Effects aid is 4 HP, so anyway, I I've not really thought about it just yet. So uh yeah, it's a plan. Um, <clears throat> let's do some guitar practice, eh? Yeah, the guitar's a bit loud, actually. There's more... There's, oh, so that's the noise engineering one, is it? Uh, yeah, I know you like, I know you like the A115, don't you? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I took it out of the main case um, a couple of weeks ago because I needed some space for the new LFOs I was getting. Um, so I thought, well, what do I use the less, the, the least? And the audio divider came tops, unfortunately. But uh, I do intend to get it back into the system somewhere uh, at some point. Yeah, I need to have a, probably another bit of shuffle around. I've another good think about what I am and what I'm not using. Like the ring modder, for instance. I, I just don't, I don't have any joy with the ring modder at all. I just must be using it all wrong. But, uh, yeah, so I could probably take the ring mod out. But, um, yeah. I mean, I've actually got, so going across the top here on this, uh, in fact, even here I can see so I've got one, two, three, I've got four HP spur here. Although I do like these caps because I think it ventilates the case a bit. But if push comes to shove, I could probably just put some slots in this side of the case, I guess. And then up here I've got one, uh, one, two, three, four. So I've got four HP spur here, one and then four H, so that's eight HP. So that's, that is in effect the, uh, like an audio divider module space. So 8 HP there, and then I've got um, one, I've got two HP spur on that row, which doesn't really add up so much, to be honest with you. I see there's some shuffling around. I've got, uh, that's a blanking plate, so it is a Divkid blanking plate. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've got, uh, six hp there six seven eight nine so say eight hp um the oh there's another so there's another one hp gap there but also for the future my passive modules do not need to be in a powered case so if i rethink my space a little bit there's options there for my passive modules to come out of the um, the powered case and go into a just a well just a little box with no power so yeah plans plans for the future Yeah, uh, yeah, it probably would be, and in fact, that's that's another module I need. Actually, thinking about it, I, I need to be able to get the guitar into the modular system. So I need a um, 
an input module. I mean, I've, I've got to, yeah, I've got to stay sensible, I think. Um, so having the space limitation is is good because it's um, it's saving the wallet a bit of uh, a bit of hammer. <laughs> Klaus <laughs> Thanks Raptors yeah, I guess. Uh, The sun's gone in now that you've said that <laughs> uh, Oops Yeah I'm totally out of sorts to be fretboard today I'm on E flat minor as I said at the start or even E flat minor pentatonic so even though I've got a capo on that obviously helps with the open strings but uh, I haven't missed much, missed much Klaus to be honest. Um, it was a patch from scratch uh, to, to begin with anyway, um, so took a little bit of time to patch up the, the drone.
not rooted the guitar into Mavis, no. But wouldn't I need an input module for that, James? Um, do you know what I mean? Funnily enough, <laughs> you know, the Mavis, the, um, the cards are still up there somewhere. Like the little, uh, where am I? The patching tips. Uh, that you just like a little overlay, you put a little cardboard overlay on there and it gives you ideas to sort of patch up to. I've not, I've not even touched them yet. I've just purely, just as you can hear now, I just, I just love this sort of stuff. So yeah, I'm not using it as much as I should do. I mean, it's it's got a um, it's got a wave fold uh, set up on the Mavis, which I've not even I've not even bothered using yet. <laughs> so yeah. A preamp, yeah. I need to look into that. supposed to be okay um, but you, you, you've got a there's there's no direct input into the wave folder you've got to use your patching cables to get the uh, the, the oscillator into the wave folder section um, so yeah I've just been too busy doing other stuff really but one day I'll definitely get into that uh, one of the reasons why I haven't done it is that obviously I've got the, uh, the West Best, it's, it's got its own pretty good wave folder on it, so... And I've also got uh, a damn good wave folder up here, that's the uh, DPW Design wave folder. It's a cracking wave folder, that. You've not missed much, my bit. Yeah, I need to get used to this fretboard. So I, that's that's the, that's my homework for this week, I think. Grace, thanks, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, see you around.
Canyon Dreams, yeah. Good God. That's the Green Album cover, isn't it, if I remember rightly. As is Rubicon. I do have Canyon Dreams, but only on CD. Uh, discussing the finer points of uh, technical stuff I'll read all this back later because I've always missed something I've always missed a gem somewhere handy if we could play in time with the sequence. Probably another reason why I like drones. <laughs> I've seen Graham's comment there. Rushes on a do you mean or um
Bruce. Was that after I'd gone Robbie? I mean, there was some good stuff going on before that. Um, I was just too tired. I'm an early riser. Early, early up, early to bed, unfortunately. Another sequence does it as well. Sorry to be clock watching. Oops. Just uh
one of the uh, one of the cool or dead easy things about this open C tuning. Forget the first string because I'm, I'm it's not strictly street strictly speaking a uh, proper open C tuning because I've got the uh, first and second string tuned the same. So anyway, so basically any sort of notes that you learn to play on those two strings, strings uh, two and three, it's the same as it is on five and four. because it's uh, C, G, C, G, C, and then C for me. Guitar in easy mode. I'll be bored stiff, bored stiff by now, I was going to swear then. <laughs> Turn that down. I've got to do this again tomorrow. So what do I do? Probably add another sequence. To uh, play alongside Mavis. I've also got scope. Because I'm only using one uh, row of pressure points so I've got the other two rows so what I do is I pipe those into the uh, switching sequencer so I can end up with like a 12 step sequence or I can just manually skip through the various steps to choose a particular sequence so there's a there's a possibility there um, with that, I've still not used the harmony. 
So I don't know, maybe I'll look at the uh, bringing the Harman egg into play. And uh, maybe some more drone elements. I mean, I think the drone is pretty much, I don't know. And it's not, it's not a, um, it's, it's a particular type of drone that for me just provides a kind of um, a bed to put other stuff on, basically. Yeah. Oh yeah, I need to uh, so look at granulate to see what parameters I can stick LFO into with a granulator, so it's just not that flat, continuous wall of granular sound. Yeah. I mean the the choices are endless. Let's let's put the let's turn that off. Make sure that camera's on. So I'm talking. That's the talkie camera. Yeah, so I've got I've still got so many options left really. Um and although I haven't got any CV control of the levels on the performance mixer, I've still got uh, VCAs I can use to bring some of the drone elements in and out. And the big one really is uh, with the triple cross um, crossfader panner module. Yeah. Um, I need to bring that into play as well, probably with some of the droneage. And it's actually, it can be, you can make it stereo, so you've got a left and a right output, so yeah, need to have a look at that. I've kind of only used it in very basic modes to now. So yeah, there's a whole wall of stuff that I've not even touched for this yet. So tomorrow... <laughs> If you don't mind shooting in again tomorrow, and I'm not suggesting that you do. I mean, you know, I'm always here because, as I've said before, this is just me. I'm in the studio anyway. So it's just a few clicks here and there to bring the cameras up and set up a stream on YouTube. Um, I know you guys have got lots of other things you need to do as well. So, uh yeah. Okay, so we'll get oh isolated. Oh that's a nice minute, didn't see that. Well I've seen you before. Uh is there anybody else that I've missed? I think it was about bits everybody there now. So yeah. Isolated snuck in there. <laughs> You see, I can mix. Um, I can mix LFOs together, so that we've got a gradual sort of uh, just a slow rising and falling at one level, but then I have a slower LFO increase it. So it will actually. So where the two LFOs, the peaks match, it opens up the LFO even more. Or the the cuts off. So I can have a look at that. I think I mixed my LFO. Don't I? Should be able to do that somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, just, just I could just use a mixer. So I reckon I reckon that's it to be honest. Um Yeah, get a quadroverb. <laughs> that many notes I'm gonna call it a day didn't quite get to the two hours where are we now I just started a little bit earlier so it's work at 155 and I don't want to bore you too much with all me yapping away I'm not sure there's anything else I can add to the uh, the chat now um, just waffle so I will say 
thank you very much for tuning in on this impromptu uh, Friday live stream. I'll be on tomorrow um, from 10 till 12. Oh, so later on, so uh, later on this evening, we've got the Pro Synth Network (PSN). So that's like a, uh, a music tech news um, live stream. We have a couple of guests on. I think there's it's, a, it's it's the birthday today. I think so. The birthday cakes out. Um, but whether Rob's still here or not, but Rob can explain the. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, the birthday, how many years and stuff of PSN. Is it about seven years, something like that? So, uh, yes, and then tomorrow, after my stream, there's Ramsey. And then there's probably pubs, and there's also Geosynths or Jamie's live stream. There wasn't one last week, was there? So I don't know whether there's one this week. So I think he comes on around about between is it six and seven or something like that so yeah thank you very much and of course james dyson <laughs> james dyson's always online <laughs> every time i go uh, on to youtube day james is there and i'm thinking i've got to do something else here so yeah don't tune into you as much as i should do james i can see you live but i'm going oh my goodness <laughs> i'll definitely try and tune in more so yeah let's fade this out sort of nicely we'll get back to the uh Mini brutes, and then I'll, I'll shut the damn show down. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Thanks again. I've got to go. I just talk and talk, don't I? Talk for Britain. Um, thanks again. And I'm out.